everybody, my name's Dave, this is my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to show you how I make my version of spaghetti bolognese. Okay, for the key ingredients, I prefer some British beef, minced beef, around about 500 grams should do it, a ton of mushrooms, I absolutely am amazing, I love those so much and a selection of sweet and slightly spicy peppers and a couple of onions not forgetting approximately a glass of red wine I use the wine because I don't use the sauces that you buy in the supermarkets they actually taste to me they taste pretty nasty I prefer to make my own with that you use the sauce of some chopped tomatoes some Worcester sauce black pepper garlic now I would lo normally use fresh garlic but today I'm feeling a little bit lazy so I'm using the garlic puree getting some original beef stock which is really good from America thanks to deer meat for dinner this stuff is absolutely amazing Everglades original seasoning if you haven't tried it before you've got to try it it's absolutely amazing some oregano as the Americans like to say oregano and sprinkle some chives and that is pretty much the key ingredients so I shall carry on and I'll get chopping okay so I've done the chopping part well the onions and the peppers I haven't done the mushrooms yet, I usually wait for those to be last while the rest of the stuff is cooking. As you can see here, the chunks are really quite big. I prefer large chunky vegetables. As with a ton of mushrooms. Mushrooms? Onions! <laughs> So, mince, what I'll do is I'll crack this stove on, now you might be wondering why am I using a camp stove, let me knock this down a bit, the reason I'm using this camp stove is because it's gas and I prefer to cook with gas, my hob here is electric and I just prefer gas is more controllable. So into the pot. This is just a browning process. Break up the uh, in a smaller pan before. Not a worry. Gonna brown it off. Make some of the fat come out of it. You want some fat in this obviously but you don't want too much of it. So I shall uh, that down, let that simmer for a few minutes and then onwards to the next stage. Here we go, 
this is browning off just nicely. I should have started this with my other hand, but never mind, because I'm right handed. As you can see, there is plenty of grease coming out of that. So the next stage, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get out a colander, or a sieve, however you want to call them. Reach! Hey! Then I'm going to strain this, get off most of the fat, and then add the mince back to the pan. So I shall return on the next step. Okay, so the mince is now drained and is just simmering ever so slightly. And the next step for me is the red wine. How much do you put in? As much as you want. I put in about that much. Now I'm going to let the alcohol burn off this. Let that simmer for few more minutes. Just knock the heat up a bit. And then we'll be throwing in the onion and next the garlic. So I'm going to need a couple of hands for the next step so I shall put this camera down and I'll be back in a few moments. Okay, so my little camera assistant has nipped to the bathroom, so uh, you'll have to bear with me. Back on the tripod, why not? Okay, this is coming up really good. You can smell that wine, amazing. It's bubbling just nicely, just enough to burn off the alcohol. So, I'm going to knock that down. say the reason why I'm cooking on gas is because it's more controllable so electric takes too long in my opinion to heat up onions nice big chunky onions now to me the key to a nice meal is not just the taste flavour, but nice big chunky mouthfuls, which is why I always cut the onions, the peppers, and particularly the mushrooms, in a very large size. So, here we go, I'm going to turn this back up, just a little, here we are, Garlic, like I say, normally I would chop garlic up, but I'm feeling quite lazy today, so how much of this stuff do I put in? Usually I would put about half to three quarters of a whole tube. Why that much? Because it is amazing and it tastes just fantastic so a bit more garlic you might be watching thinking it overpowered it on the garlic believe me I ain't First time I'm doing this. I'm trying to get the camera to show you what I'm doing. At the same time, I can't really get myself in. Not to worry, it's not about me, it's about what I'm doing. So, oh, that garlic in that red wine, my god, that it smells amazing. 
sort of put in a certain amount like I always it's always about that much for me so next will be the tin tomatoes so if you bear with me I'm gonna put the camera down again and get cracking with those okay so now the next step is put the knife down can of chopped tomatoes. Sometimes I will get the tomatoes that also have garlic in it because you can never go too much in garlic in my opinion. Turn the heat right down. The reason being is I don't want it to boil. I don't want the juices to drain. So I'm going to do very, very low. And what I'll do is tomatoes. Everything is well stirred in there. So next is the beef stock. Two of these. door behind me watching she's uh, helping with the camera now and again she's a little shy she doesn't want to be on the camera not yet but this is not just going to be what my channel's about it's not just going to be about cooking we may go out and about explore places uh, whatever I see fit that I want to upload and also, at the moment, I'm not monitorized and need a lot of viewers. 
viewers and subscribers. So I'll just pick this up off the floor. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. You can give it a thumbs up. I need to get quite a few followers, subscribers. Then I can start working on this YouTube channel a little bit better with more stuff. So right, I've turned this down a bit too far, just a itty bitty bit more. Worcestershire sauce, absolutely amazing. My little girl has just reminded me, don't forget to hit the bell if you do subscribe so when I do upload you will see the next available video. So Worcestershire sauce, how much do you put in? Like I say, about that much. A good few shakes. Yeah, they're really tasting good. Not too much on the Worcester sauce, but a decent amount. Right. I'm going to get a little bit of black pepper. I don't put too much black pepper in because you can always add it when you're sitting at the table. Then need some chives. Why do I put chives in? Because I like to. Oh, that lid's broken. No good. Your chives. Hey, it is snowing chives. Uh, right, right. So sorry about that. My lid is broke. Never mind. I do like this stuff. Oregano. A few shakes of that. Not too much because you don't want the sauce to dry up. Oops. Flat. Give this a stir. Oh my goodness. If you could smell this. Wow. Do you know what? Maybe daughter some breakfast this morning, but I didn't make anything for myself, and I'm quite hungry. So I am so looking forward to my meal. This, do yourself a favour. If you do not, if you have not already tried this, you've got to try it. It's only basically in America, but you can buy it in the UK from eBay or Amazon. Um, I think American Imports sell it. I think that's where I got this one from. So nearly done on this one. But however, I do have another two jars. Me and my daughter, we love Everglades. Like I say, about that much. Right, what is next to add? Nothing but these mushrooms. Mamie Dora, we love mushrooms. I could eat these raw. Sometimes I do when I'm chopping them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse these off and I'm going to quarter these and if there are some of them that are small enough, even that size, I'll just stick it in the pot whole. You cannot beat, you cannot beat chunky mushrooms, chunky onions, chunky peppers. This smell 
as low as I can the lid right I am going to leave the lid on full fully on there is a hole for the steam to come out some people put the lid on at an angle like that I think too much steam can leave trap in the flavour trap in the juices you can always take the lid off if it's too juicy if it's too runny to reduce the juices however let's just wait and see what it's like when it's done so I'm going to leave that to simmer very lowly for about 45 minutes maybe an hour once that's done will add the mushrooms. I shall get chopping these mushrooms now and okay guys so I've washed the mushrooms got them drying out normally I don't wash mushrooms I find it pretty sacrilege but these were quite composty so as you can see there is quite a large amount of mushrooms but me personally I like a mushroom in every bite now let's see how this is coming on oh my god the smell of that is absolutely fantastic that is absolutely perfect right what I'm going to do is I'm going to get chopping so I need two hands for that and uh, move on to the next step okay so mushrooms are chopped nice chunky mushrooms like I say a nice big chunky mushroom in every bite so I put some of them in already as you can see haven't bothered stirring it just yet because put that there and now without the risk of dropping these on the floor put them all in the pot I could really do with three hands however I'll tell you what give me a second I'll put the rest of these mushrooms in and we'll give it a good old stir. Okay, mushrooms are all in the pot. I've given it about two stirs in the last 45 minutes to an hour. And what I'm doing now is just give these a good old stir. These, once the lid's back on, these will reduce. But the consistency of the sauce, apart from it looking and smelling amazing, is bang on. Which is, I say, I never really say, like, you need so many ounces of this, so many milliliters of this, whatever. To me, it's always about that much. Whatever looks right. This now is looking absolutely gorgeous so that 
down there. Lid goes back on. Now I've turned this right down. So I'm going to let this cook for another. I'm going to give it 30 minutes and give it a check. Give it a good old stir. So I reckon no more than 45 minutes. And then it is complete. Okay, so this has had another 30 minutes. And we're going to give it a look. Oh my god. Let me just set this down here. I'll tell you what. If you bought this in a restaurant, it would cost you a lot of money. Making it at home, not that much. Now you see what I was saying about the... Uh, chunky sized mushrooms give this a little stir this is absolutely amazing right what I'm going to do now because this is pretty much finished but I'm just going to let it soak and retain the heat I'm going to leave it for another five minutes because I've lost a lot of heat now I've taken the lid off I'm going to put the lid back on for five minutes, I'm going to switch it off, and I'm going to let it sit for another half an hour or so. In fact, I'll probably just let this sit until it's time to eat. Also, you find with this sort of meal, when you make it, and you let it sit, after it's cooled down, stick it in the fridge, and it tastes even better the next day so we're gonna have the spaghetti bolognese for our dinner tonight and we're gonna have it again tomorrow because me and my daughter absolutely love this stuff so until a bit further along the line when it's ready to eat I'll begin to put the lid back on I'll say give that another five minutes or so, ten minutes, let the heat build up again then I'm going to switch it off and let it sit for about another well, as I say, you can let it sit for about half an hour but I'm going to let that sit until it's time to eat so, we'll see you in a bit ok guys, so uh, end result is done massive plate pasta shells I do like spaghetti but I think pasta shells work great because tiny little pockets of food wrapped oh my god this is amazing stuff anyway I'm going to sit down and eat this with my little girl obviously I have her plate here too two massive plates so, what I was saying before about the Everglades, if you want to get some of this stuff, check it out on eBay or Amazon. If I can, I will leave the link in the description below. It's time to eat.